Hi CCC family, today we're going to learn how to make some crochet hair clips. There are a lot of videos on these. I'm going to try to make it though as easy as possible and make this beginner friendly. Um, give you all the actual numbers that you need to get it around the hair clip. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do this cute little puffy flower on the end and how to sew it on. So for our materials today, you're going to need a hair clip, just a basic hair clip like this. You can find them at Dollar General, Dollar Tree, any of the dollar stores, anywhere. You can find a whole pack for a dollar. Um, and this is a 3.25 millimeter hook. And for the actual yarn that's going around the actual clip itself, I am using a lightweight yarn. This actually came from an amigurami yarn you know the little wheels for amigurami i'm using that and then i'm using this chunky yarn for the flower at the end it's just like a i don't know a chunky yarn from walmart um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this uh, lightweight dk yarn and you're going to make a slip knot and then you're going to take your hook and you're going to go through the hook uh, of the clip you're going to open the clip up and you're going to go through the clip with your hook and this is not going to be easy to do i'm not lying to you it's a little bit awkward i think that's the best word you could use for this as awkward because you're working around a really tight space i would really like to find some clips that have more room but these are the ones that i had so then you're going to pull that through the clip and i'm going to try to work through the widest space available you're going to chain one to bring in that color and then you're going to do two single crochets and as you can see i'm wiggling them on there um, and some of your stitches might be a little loose and stuff like that don't worry about it when you go into your second round you're really going to be able to tighten it up so you did one single crochet then you're going to go back in and you're going to do another single crochet and uh, then you're going to push that up to the top and you're going to chain three and this chain three is going to go over the bottom of the hair clip and so after you chain three you're going to go into the other side and you're going to do 11 single crochets uh, towards the other side of the hair clip so we're going to do 11 single crochets and as you're working these i just want to give you a little tip working around these little hair clips that is so awkward is if you find the biggest place that you can get through easily with your crochet hook then use that space and make all your stitches there and you can do that by pushing up on the other ones and then when you're done you can pull them back and it'll still cover the hair clip i hope that makes sense but that was the easiest part now it's at a point there does get you know, a little too many and you end up having to go down to the other side okay so now we have our 11 single crochets and now we need to chain two for the other side of the clip and now going back the other way we're going to do nine single crochets so with the two that we already did on that side um, you've got uh, basically 11 single crochets on each side of this and on one side the bigger side you have a chain of three and on the smaller side you have a chain of two after you finish your nine single crochets, I'd like you to grab a stitch marker, whatever you use, um, if it's one of the plastic ones or a piece of yarn. I'm just going to use a piece of yarn and I'm going to place that stitch marker right in the last stitch that I just worked. Okay, um, so I'm going to place that right there and then I'm going to start doing half double crochets all the way around. Now um, remember we did that chain one. And then we did the two single crochets we don't want to go into our chain one we want to go into the first single crochet that we did and we're going to go right in and we're going to do a half double crochet now these are small stitches so you know again still a little bit awkward um, what you want to do is use the side of your hook and try to get under both of those loops uh, you know your v uh, try to get under both of those and make a half double crochet if for some reason you can't get under both of them like for the chain three you're probably not going to be able to um you know don't worry about it it's still going to look really cool when it's done um but yeah you're going to do half double crochets all the way around in each stitch until you get back to your stitch marker Thank you. 
After you place your last half double crochet where your stitch marker is, you're going to pull out your stitch marker and then we're going to work some single crochets around the top. Okay, so you're going to go right into your next stitch and you're going to do a single crochet. So that's one and into the next, that's two, into the next, that's three, into the next, that's four, into the next, that's five, into the next, that's six, and into the next, that's seven. Okay. And then we're all done. We're going to go into our next stitch and we're going to make a slip stitch after we cut off our yarn. Uh, just to make it look more even, we're going to go into our next stitch, pull up, do a slip stitch, and then pull out and tie off. And now we can move on to making our flower. And before we put on our flower, we're going to make sure to work in our ends. Remember that three times is the charm. So I'm going to go in once, twice, and three times, and then I'm going to cut off. Um, and as you can see, I'm trying to make sure that I work that in in the back. So getting started on our little puffy flower that goes on the end here, we're going to make a magic circle and we're going to do um, a chain one here to hold that magic circle in. Then you might want to pull your magic circle a little bit tighter so that you can work in it easier. And then you're going to chain two and you're going to go back into the magic circle and you're going to make a half double crochet. Then you're going to go back into the magic circle and you're going to do a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain two again, go back into the magic circle, do a half double crochet, and then go back into the magic circle and do a slip stitch. You're going to repeat that five times. Okay, so we've already got two. So again, chain two, go back into the magic circle, make a half double crochet, and then again, slip stitch to finish off that petal. And then chain two, do a half double crochet, back into the magic circle, you're going to do a slip stitch. And then you need one more, chain two again, go back into the magic circle, do a half double crochet, and then go right back in and do a slip stitch. And then you're going to put a slip stitch into the base of the first petal to close this off before we tighten our magic circle. So just find the base there of that uh, first petal, go in, make a slip stitch, and then you can cut off, leave enough room there because we're going to sew this on to our hair clip. And then you can pull the back really easily. You want to make sure that you um, work that back in. So work that back in around the middle of the circle. And then I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I've worked in that middle piece around uh, that magic circle there. And now I'm going to take this piece that we're going to use to sew on and I'm going to put it onto my darning needle and what I want to do is just get it close to the middle so I'm just going through some stitches and bringing this close to the middle just so when I sew this on the barrette it makes it easier I'm not coming from the side of the flower I'm coming from the middle of the flower okay and so then you're going to take your hair barrette you're going to place it exactly where you want it to be and then you're going to start sewing it on. What I like to do is go through the actual back of the flower first and then pick up some of the pink yarn from the back. And then I'm going to go around to the other side and I'm going to pick up some yarn from the flower, just like this, and then go through the pink part of the barrette. And I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around until I feel like it's as snug as I would like it to be. Notice that I'm trying to go through my front stitches so that none of the stitches from the flower show through to the back. So I'm pulling the yarn up through the flower and then I'm going through the front of these stitches. Once you feel that your flower is securely in place, you're going to work this piece three times into the back of this flower. So there's twice that I worked it in, and then I need to go through one more time, and that's so that it'll never come undone. And then you can cut off. And we're all done with this cute little clip, really easy to do. 
like I said, the hardest part is just where it's awkward to get around the clip. And once you make that first round, then it's easy going after that. As you can see, it just unclips very easily. And then you can make them in all kinds of colors. You can put all kinds of things on them. Um, you can put little jewelry on them. It's just really fun to make these. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And I'll see you soon. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.